edition of Talking Tokes. Hey y'all, you know, this is commitment. This is commitment. Take a look at this as we're walking along. I am heading out here in a boat. Oh, it's not that cold, but it's cold. And it's raining. It's raining really good. It was warmer, but the temperature's dropping quick. <laughs> and, uh, but it's beautiful. It was a really heavy rain for about half an hour. And now I'm coming out in the softer rain. And, you know, a guy's got to have a walk. Uh, already had, and I got to have a talk with all of you. You have, oh, there's people parked funny here. Anyways, I don't want to show you. So, I decided I got to do a talking tokes. I wasn't going to leave it go. Uh, and I was itching. I'm inside, and you know, I don't want to just stay inside all day. Doesn't matter if it's cold and rainy out. <coughs> My body starts to crave this extra exercise it's getting. Yes, when I'm done it, I need a nap. But it's good. I got good color in my skin. I, I'm dark like my kids. <laughs> and, uh, you know, also today, kind of a stressy day. A lot of people are concerned about these raids. I'm going to go under this tree for a second. Uh, a lot of people are concerned about these raids in Toronto. I'd say don't be. I'd say that's uh, government's kind of feeling out the public feeling out the public opinion I almost every street interview I've seen people are not in support of this move there I shared in Google a really good one where they interviewed one woman and she said I think it's awful they're closing these I don't visit them but uh, since these stores opened up the parks have been clean of drug dealers and my kids can go back and play at the parks. It has legalized something that it was making the parks unsafe for her kids. So she's supporting these businesses. And they keep saying it's for the public health. And then when you challenge them and say, what is the health issue? They can't answer. They obfuscate. So... I'm getting cold. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. I hope to have more talking tokes, but this might be it for today. I might try later. Peace. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You good dog? <laughs> How's that for a start to a midpoint in talking tokes? The last time you saw me, it was soaking wet and kind of yucky out. Now it's bright, and in fact, I have this jacket done up, and maybe it's too warm for a done-up jacket. Offer another talking tokes. Offer another walk around the block to build up my my strength. You know, I I always have to at least acknowledge my critics. A lot of people have been asking me to roll a joint and go for talking tokes and bring the joint with. Then I do it. And they get somebody saying, really? You think you should do that in public? I want to say to people, before you criticize, a person has to logically put themselves in the shoes of the person they're critiquing to see if what they assume they're doing, which that person obviously assumed that I was putting people at risk by maybe blowing my smoke at them which first he's got to prove that that smoke is risky nobody's ever been hurt by cannabis but beyond that think logically watch my shows too I always watch around I make sure I stay away from people because I'm busy recording with you so if I'm talking it's not around the person there's nobody getting a piece of this cheers
and if a tiny tiny bit of that goes up in the air then I hope you're going on anybody's video ever that does a video and smokes when they walk a cigarette and give them hell but you know what that stuff has poison and that person compared it to alcohol you don't see a person carrying booze no you don't nobody knows what this is <laughs> anyways off of that off of that it was nice to have the day turn out like this it's gorgeous there's there's a wind in the air right now that is just so fresh and a little bit of warmth to it my uh, my middle daughter is on the way to drop off her two dogs for the weekend she has a Cub Scout camp to go to with her sons and needs somebody to doggy sit one is a very old Bichon Shih Tzu and the other is a young weird cross Bichon with a long nose <laughs> so maybe show you some of them in the pictures or one of the intros or something I don't know but it'll be an interesting weekend with three dogs a cat and a gecko the dogs all love to pick on that cat so um, that's about it there's people coming no no there isn't anyways I'm going to end it anyway because I want to get around the block get some more get get my minutes up for today and get home in time to see my daughter before she takes off for the weekend so peace and cheers love and harmony this is probably the end of talking dogs 24 25 bye <laughs>